Good morning. Good morning. So we got up this morning and now we are just on our way to go and run some errands. So we are driving right now. Steve is driving. We're just going to coach to return a ring I bought. Um, or I got it Christmas. And it's like all the metal colors. Like so, to return it. And the little people are sleeping in the back. No, I don't. No, they're not. I'm a liar. No one likes a liar. <laughs> a fibber. Liar, liar, pants on fire. And I'm like, this camera is like a weird. Yeah. People beside me are looking at me like, what the heck is she doing? She's taking selfies. Because <laughs> <laughs> everybody likes time. a nice selfie. Here is the ring I'm talking about. See if it will focus. Cheap crap from Coach. There's like lint all over my pants. I don't know if you can tell, but see, you can see there. All the colors coming off. Like, what kind of crap is that? Nope, it's going back. I'm going to trade it in for some sunglasses. Here's my new glasses. Don't mind the lint on my pants. <laughs> Very nice. Of course it won't focus. What can you do? Perfection. They'll be perfect for our, our vacation. Where are we going on vacation, baby? Uh, hey. Mayan Riviera. Don't you be crying, girl. Bad boy. <laughs> Show him your bird. When I'm standing up, I look like a roly poly oly. So, when, how many days ago was it? Three days ago? Three or four days ago, I was making soup with Eva. Well, I was making soup and Eva was watching me. And then Eva wanted to stir the pot of water and she was stirring the pot with me and I, then I didn't want her to do it anymore because the water started to boil and I was afraid that she would burn herself. So she has a spoon and I said like, no more Eva, so I go and take the spoon, but I didn't realize that she had, the spoon was full of soup. And when I grabbed the spoon, all the water came back and sprayed all over my stomach. And it sounds like it wouldn't be that bad, but I ended up having a second degree burn on my poor tummy. And now, and I have like huge, like what, blisters or whatever on it. It's just really gross. And <laughs> one, each of the kids managed to accidentally pop them because they rubbed up against me too hard and then they popped. So now I'm probably going to end up with a big nasty scar, but what can you do? So be it. Battle wounds. Battle wounds, for sure. I don't have a C-section mark, so this is my my wound caused by children. We are driving to go get Steve a haircut. Yeah, I'm starting to look like a scaby skin. We got some squigs happening. What is the definition of squigs? When your hair like starts going curly, because it gets a little too long. And then just you, just zoom. you know, you can't style it. Just gonna it zoom in on your little squiggles. Yeah. So I just call them squigs for short. <laughs> That's how I roll. Come up with clever, clever terms. That's how he rolls. I have to learn how to do clear. It's like down on it rather than up. Freak is honking his horn. <laughs> Are they honking at you? No. You can't go, it's fine. No, I can't go. Actually driving at its finest? Yeah, coming from the girl that just got her license two years ago. <laughs> I can almost get my aunt. Almost! You can almost have a By full By the way, license. we're in Canada here. Oh! And we have the graduated licensing program. So you start off and you have an L. Put this thing on the back of your car, and 
then we go to an N, and then you go to an N, you gotta put that in the back of your car. You gotta drive it that way. You know what the N stands for, right? New driver. New driver. <laughs> and, yeah. So there you go, have that particular Once the two years is up, that can come off as long as you pass your another driving test. It took me four times to get my end. <laughs> so, who knows how long it's going to take me to get my full license. And then, you know, long enough to have to go back. Okay. Well, it's not like you have to so take another test, ask. you just got to let the time lapse. Because lots of teenagers think it's really, really funny when you're in a parking lot to take the thing off the back of the car. And then if you get pulled over, you get a ticket. Luckily, I've never gotten a ticket. Cross your fingers, knock on wood. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're <laughs> Well, since we dropped Steve off to go and get his hair cut, and I decided I'm going to go to Starbucks and get some coffee. And maybe something for Eva, because Mila is napping right now. And I didn't want to take them out of the car, I wanted to let Mila have her nap, because we've got lots to do today. So anyway, I thought, since I'm sure a lot of people probably who will be watching this video are people who watch my other channel, Eva, please. So I figured I would do a little update and let you guys know kind of what's been going on and yeah. So for those of you, Eva, this is filming with a child, it's like yourself in a blender. Anyway, looks like really bad analogy, but whatever. So, what's been going on? What happened? What's new? Yada, yada, yada. For those of you who follow me on Facebook, which if you don't follow me on Facebook, you better get on that right now. There will be links on the channel to that, um, to my Facebook page, and we will have a, we have a Facebook page too, We Are The Barons. So check that out as well. Make sure you like the page. We also have Twitter, Instagram, yada, 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 yada. So, basically, Mila turned one last June, and then shortly after that, in September, Eva turned three. We, during that time, my dad became quite ill and was in the hospital, and after lots and lots of testing and about three months in the hospital, they discovered that he has had many, many, many strokes, so many strokes that I really aren't sure how many he's had, and unfortunately he's been diagnosed with vascular dementia, uh, which is obviously something that's very sad and it's, you know, it's very hard to have somebody diagnosed with something like that because really, you know, what he is like now is the best, or what he was like then is the best that he would ever be. So I know now that he will only get worse. And at first I thought that maybe he wasn't really getting any worse, but now I'm starting to realize that he really is getting worse. So that's been really hard on me and really hard on my family. My brother moved away. He, we live in, I'm not going to say too much where we live, but we live in British Columbia in Canada. And my brother moved to Alberta, which is one province over. Um, you know, it's like quite a long drive if I were to ever go there. It would be like a maybe 16 hour drive. Um, we still talk a lot, but it's sad having my brother go as well. So I've had like a lot of changes in my family. Uh, my grandpa also passed away on Mila's birthday during Mila's birthday party, so that was really sad. And it was just really tough. Steve's um, uncle passed away, and his grandma passed away, his baba. So it's been really tough. Our families like have had a lot of really difficult things happen, and yeah, it's just it's been really tough. And then because my dad was so sick, my dad's no longer to live able to live in his home, and my brother moved, so there was no one living there. So we decided that the best thing to do would be to live in my dad's house because he's living there and it made sense for us to live there in the meantime. So we moved again and now we 
So we've been living now with my dad, or not with my dad, sorry. My dad lives in a home, a rehabilitation home for people who've had um, strokes or all kinds of different problems. So anyway, we're living in his house. So, because my dad doesn't want to sell his house right now, but we also don't want his home to be empty. So we're living there. So that's great because it's a lot bigger than anything we've lived in before. The girls have their own rooms, which they had before, but they have their own rooms, good size rooms. And, you know, we have a big backyard and, yeah, way more space than we had before, way more storage than we had before. Um, and it's just, like, a really nice area, and it's back where I kind of grew up and stuff, so lots of my family friends and friends and stuff are close, so it's nice. It is nice to be back in some ways. So yeah, so that's like really what's been going on. I have had like had terrible, terrible, terrible back pain for months and months and months, and we're not exactly sure. I did get into a car accident in the summer, and I got hit by a small semi truck. I got a um, rear-ended, and I'm not sure yet, but they, you know, I may possibly have something called I think it's fibromyalgia. So I'm like. I don't know when I'll find that out. I'm just, like, about to start a lot of physiotherapy. And I have terrible, terrible, terrible sciatica pain. So, I have good days and bad days. Today is not so bad of a day, but I've had lots of days where it's just really bad. And whenever Steve goes, like, I feel like kind of anxiety takes over me a little bit as well. And, yeah, Steve's working a different rotation now, so he's gone for 20 days, and then he's home for 10 days. Which is good and bad, but what can you do? So yeah, so that's what's going on. That's kind of the update. That's kind of why I have dropped off the face of the earth for a little while, just because we we're having a hard time with that. As far as pregnancy goes and everything, no, I'm not pregnant. Um, we are still trying to have another baby, but we're not really actively trying that much right now, just because we are going away. And I'd rather not be pregnant while I'm traveling. Um, but, you know, while we're there and when we're back, we'll be definitely actively trying. And you will hear a lot about that in our videos and on my mommy channel as well. So I'm going to cut this off before you even start. Oh, the funniest thing is when the girl was cutting my hair. Yeah. She's like, she's like, if I'm not cut too short, you tell me I cut more. Don't be shy. <laughs> Don't be shy. Give me more. So we went and had some dim sum. We did not film in there, but it's kind of like a little bit too close quarters to really to be filming in there. Everybody's tables like practically they like pack in there like sardines. So. And we were the only white people there. Well, that's pretty normal. Where am I going here? Straight? Right. Straight. We go into Walmart and Carter's. Eva's grown out of all of her pajamas pretty much. They're like too short. Too short. She has like, she totally has my body type because she's tall and she has a really long upper body. So she needs like the extra length. Otherwise, she has like half of her belly is hanging out of the bottom. So we gotta get some new jammies. Have a look. Oh my God. I know there's good sales going on there right now. Keep going straight. Steve needs directing everywhere he goes. Otherwise, he looks like a drunk driver. And we gotta get, I need a tripod. That was the other thing. And we need a micro SD card. And a wet willy. From <laughs> oh my gosh, there's this really funny picture. I'll, I'll insert it like right here. It's really funny. So anyway, yeah. We are gonna do that. We need a micro SD card for Steve's GoPro. Does anybody out there vlog or make videos on a GoPro? If you know of anybody, let us know. My new tripod! Gonna try this out right now. We are home. So, if you want to take a look at what my bird looks like. Can I pre-wind you? This is very good. Yum. Do not. 
not cut the toddlers. You're out of frame. Huh? You're out of frame. Eva has to play with the tripod. Go up! Whoa! You're so smart. Eva. Say hi. Whoa! Whoa! You're crazy, go. ready. We're just waiting for daddy. Mila couldn't wait. She had to dig into some strawberries. And I'm playing around with this tripod. Oh, there we go. Playing around with this tripod. Mila! Are those good strawberries? Yum! Are they good? Thanks, Eva. 
Are they tasty? I think so. Ah, 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 ah. Eva's in bed and she's gonna go nine nine. Nine nine, Eva. I love you. We are now going to relax. It's like 10 after 9. We're gonna watch some. What's that show called we're gonna watch? Eastbound and Down? I think it's called Eastbound and Down. So we're gonna watch some of that. We just bought seasons 1, 2, and 3 today. So we're gonna do that and then go to bed. So we will see you in the morning.